I have been waiting a long, long, long time for this matchup. And it's going to take place at the Shoe on Saturday between the Michigan Wolverines at the Ohio State Buckeyes. So, those of you guys that know, I'm a huge Ohio State Buckeyes fan. And that's why I got the crosses on the end pretty much anytime I talk about the Michigan or as I like to call them, the team up north. Um, This is the most intense rivalry, in my opinion, in all of sports. I mean, you can talk about everything. I mean, there, I cannot stand the Michigan Wolverines. I hate literally every single aspect about their football team, about their program, or about their, you know, just pretty much everything about them, their fans, everything. It just comes off as delusional to me, and that's partially because, yes, I'm an Ohio State Buckeye fan, so I'm bred to basically hate everything about Michigan. But I want to talk about this rivalry, man. It is the most intense rivalry in all of sports. Yeah, you know, there's Yankees, Red Sox up there. You could argue Pittsburgh Steelers, Ravens. But there's no... At least Steelers fans and Ravens fans, Yankees fans, Red Sox fans, they can admit that he, you know, they can admit that the other team is good or, like, has some something going right for them. There is no love lost at all between these two programs these two teams absolutely despise each other we think that michigan fans and we're right about this they're delusional fools who can't freaking they just don't know anything about football in my mind i hate every single aspect and the last three matchups have only added to that michigan has taken the last three over us And now is our chance at revenge, 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 man. But diving into the matchup, man, this is going to be a hell of a hell of a game because, yeah, Michigan's struggling right now, but it's a rivalry game. So you know that there's going to be some level of, you know, okay, we can really spoil these dudes' season because they they would want nothing more than to spoil our season, especially now that we're riding high off that, you know, huge win over... Uh, the Hoosiers, you know, they want nothing more than to spoil our season, man. So this is going to be a fun, fun game, and I just can't wait. But let's look at us. We have a 10-1 record. What a win against IU last week. I talked about that. Go check out that video if you haven't already. We're second in scoring in uh, college football. We average 27 points a game, and we have a top 10, like, in every single metric you can think of. All the analytics, all the statistics you can think of. Which, by the way, are records of events that occur. We have a top 10 offense and defense in every single metric. You know what you call that? An elite team. This team is ready. This team is hungry to make a run, man. And it all starts with our quarterback, Will Howard. But let's look at Michigan first. 6-5 and five record. Davis Warren, he is clearly no J.J. McCarthy, even though J.J. McCarthy was also a little bit overrated. Uh, they're, they're ranked second worst nationally in passing explosiveness and they've lost the last three of their or three of their last five games this team is spiraling downwards since you know 2023 their national title this team is just not not a good team right now but like i said just like in nfl divisional games are always tough because the teams know each other very well the teams hate each other the teams want to you know go at each other they want to end each other's season It's similar to this one, man. There's no love loss between these two programs, no matter who's on the roster. This is, like I said, the most intense rivalry in all of sports. And that's why I think Michigan is going to make it a lot closer than people think. I mean, I know a lot of people probably think we're going to steamroll them like 31 to like 3 or something. I don't think that's going to be the case. I think we have the a great chance to win by a lot, but it's going to be tough because Michigan is going to come out angry and they're going to come out You know, trying to prove something against us, regardless of what their record is. But man, what a game this should be. You know, I can't wait to see how it unfolds. I I really and I really hope to God that we do destroy the crap out of them after what they've done to us the last three years in heartbreaking fashion and blowout fashion. But I I think that if our stars they look look at Will Howard. I mean, this dude has completed 73% of his passes. Jeremiah Smith 900 yards nearly he's just been an unstoppable weapon and Travion Henderson man he leads the FBS with explosive 10 plus yard runs 
So, I mean, everywhere you look, it, it feels like there's a star. There's a baller. And that's just something we love to see, man. But, yeah, man, our stars are coming through, and they're just playing great at their great... I mean, like I said, IU was the second most recent game, and they that was the best I've ever felt after a win. So you just have to be so proud with how it's going so far and how it, you know, potentially could go. I mean, this team could rack up, obviously, a playoff spot with this week, and they could just... It could, it could really impact how the entire country sees Ohio State. I mean, may, many of them probably think that they're, right now, at least overrated. You know, you dominate this week. Yeah, it's, it's Michigan. They're not a great team. But, you know, you put yourself in a good position. So, it's going to be important for our stars to show up and, um, you know, take advantage of that weak Michigan defense. But our keys to victory, man, we got to attack the secondary. They allowed 61% completion percentage. And they have, I mean, they're ranked the seventh worst in passing yards. So, you know, we got to lock down, you know, Denzel Burke's going to have to have a good game. Um, you know, our red zone dominance has been, you know, something to behold. I mean, we're num ranked number one nationally in the country. And, um, you know, we got make them remember, man, like, this is our house. I mean, what they did to us, you know, two years ago, that shouldn't happen. Um, you know, even what happened year one and three. I mean, that just shouldn't happen, man. You know, we, we have to win this game, and um, we have to just dominate. I know, look, Michigan is going to run their mouth no matter what, but, you know, this could just, this is a good chance to shut them up. Um, I mean, I could already tell you if they lose, they're going to bring up last year and blah, 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 even though that's the most controversial title I've ever seen in college football history. But, you know, we got to punch these dudes in the freaking face and never look back. I really hope we win this game 48 to, like, 20 but realistically, I think we will 28 to 13, maybe 28 16. But I really want us to destroy these dudes. Just annihilate them and don't look back. Um, yeah, this is one team that we just want. We just we don't respect this team. We don't like this team. We despise this team, and that's why I just want to go at them, man. So Michigan, <laughs> yourself, and we can't stand you at all. And um, go Buckeyes and uh, f Michigan.